guys, this is a very practical video on the practical equipment you need at your livestock farm. Today, I am standing right here at the Semencia Learning and Development Farm and I'm going to walk you through four practical machines we use here at our farm. And knowing how we are such a model to all of you out there, you would need these machines. So please, by all means, do this with me. By the way, if you are new to this channel, you are at the right place. You are going to learn a lot and let this be your most favorite agri channel. So subscribe to this channel for me. It's farming in Africa across all other social media platforms. And over here, what we do is we educate, we train and inspire the youth and everybody else into agriculture. Let me zoom straight into the very first equipment. You see this pile behind me. By the way, I'm also not going to be doing this video alone because right here at the farm, of course, I am with my farm manager, Godfrey. Come on in, Godfrey. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, you. <laughs> I'm good. Today, I'm not going to be doing much of the talking. Okay. We have shown people a lot about what we do here at our farm. Mm -hmm. And so today we want to go into the aspect of yes. practical machines we use here at our farm. Okay. And so if anybody is watching and want to go yes. into livestock farming, hopefully this would help them. Yeah. Let's start from this section. We are in the feed solution center. Yes. Now where we are, obviously there is a huge pile mm -hmm. of livestock feed behind yes. us. Take us away. What goes into this production and all of that? All right. So this feed you see is a pellet feed, as you earlier mentioned. Can um, I scoop a bit? I yeah, know we're about to package yes, it. Yes, you can. All so, right, ladies and gentlemen, yes. this is it. So these are feed. feed. Yeah, so these are raw ingredients mixed together that we use the pellet machine to actually compress it mm -hmm. from the powdered state into the pellet form like this. So we actually okay. use the pellet machine. Pellet machine. Yes. For this. Yeah, for this. Also because we are huge advocates of making your own feed for True. your farm, for your animals. Yes. And so if as much as possible, this is not even a, an option for you. Yeah. It is something you should work at getting. Yes, 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 yes. And I love the way you mentioned we use local ingredients to yeah. make this. So yes. I just want to pick your brain on that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what am I looking at? So this is soya bean meal. Soya bean meal. Yes. How different is this from the cake? So it's the same. Okay. So this is actually um, the soya bean that if I extracted the oil from, you can see how dry it is. Yes, it's very dry. So it's not too, um, like the protein content has reduced because the bean has very high protein content. Oh, so, so it's advised to use what? Yes, the um, meal which they've extracted the oil from. Okay. Yes, before you can. So it's same as the cake. If it's That's too what. high, what would happen? So they actually have um, complications with their stomach. They will start having diarrhea. And then um, wow. they have like, because when they're taking too much nutrients, protein, um, protein feed, yes. they start having complications. So, well, yeah. Th this video is about machines, <laughs> but as always, we love yes. you. So we yes. throw bits and pieces of knowledge yeah. in there. So go for the soya bean, bean meal, meal or, or cake. cake. Yeah. It's very dry. Yes. Maybe that's one thing you should look out for. Yes. Okay. And, and then we have obviously corn or maize. Yeah, maize as well. Okay. And then we have the wheat bran. Um, we have the wheat bran. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 We put all together, mix it. You mix it. Yes. And then. And then we, there comes your pellet, pellet machine. machine. Yes. You see, I always say these ingredients are very available wherever yeah, yeah, you yeah. find yourselves. But people do ask what makes our stand out. Today, I'm going to just briefly tell you. It's like maybe my trade secret or <laughs> yes. Anyway, we. You know, we, this is a research, learning, and development farm, and it is a fact that. Not every soil has all of the minerals and other nutrients every livestock farm would need to, to, to give a balanced diet, yeah. in, so to speak. Forgive me here today. So when we moved here, we actually did a whole research on the soil, on the yeah. land. And we realized that, oh, it lacked certain minerals. No matter what, if the animals feed from the grass on the land, they are still not going to get it because the soil is only giving the plants what it has. So what makes this stand out is the fact that we have what we call the premix. This is it. After we have mixed all of this, which can easily be sourced from wherever you are, you get the special one that has all of the deficient minerals and nutrients in our soil. In fact, one of the things is as a matter of fact, research has proven that selenium as a mineral is wildly and widely deficient yeah. in the african soil yes. so among other things this premix contains 
selenium as part yeah. and i'm not going to go into the rest so yeah <laughs> you need this um as a livestock farmer because hey you need your animals to gain weight the right way it's like how humans feed mm -hmm. on vitamin supplements yes, yeah. and everything yeah. so guys this is the pellet feed and we use the pellet machine for that let's go to the next machine yeah yes what machine is that so this is actually a chaff cutter this is a chaff cutter yes okay so it's actually used in cutting um grasses maize straws and everything into pieces yeah. so that the animals can actually feed it um they, they do not waste it mm -hmm. as well yeah it makes the feed efficient for them as well yeah. i see so whether the grass is dry or fresh fresh it does it can still yeah, do it a does good the job work. for you yes 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 so yes so it is actually electric this is um, electric okay yes. so yes on it it start rolling then you put in your um your either hay so either you fresh feed the grass. hay or the grass here yeah yes and, and it then comes it out, comes out from that side yeah. beautiful yeah. Why is it a must to have at a farm? Yes, so as I said, mm -hmm. it's actually, it saves you costs. It saves you costs, okay. Yeah, because let's say you've um, gotten people to cut grass or you've cut your grass, you've bought it yes. to come feed your animals. Yes. And it's in a long straw. Yes. When you put that into their trough, they actually pull it, bite what they can bite, yeah. and they leave the rest on the floor. They won't eat it. They will eat it. They will also step on it and I they will see. eat it. So I it see. will actually um, solve the problem of wasting feed. Yeah. Because this actually chops it into very smaller pieces yeah. where they just put their head and then they're able take to take it. the full thing into yes, their mouth. Yes, yes. No wastage, okay? Yeah. You need the chaff cutter because you need to avoid wastage. Yeah. Um, the seasons vary, but especially in the dry season, the last thing you want to do is to waste your mm -hmm. feet. Please don't. <laughs> Before we go into the other two major yeah. equipments, I'm just curious. I know, uh, yeah. talk about this for me. This is like bonus for you yes. guys. <laughs> so, this is a scale. Okay. that we use for weighing the feed that before we mix it mm, so okay it depends on the type of feed that we are making oh. we weigh it with the ingredients every ingredient is weighed here and then we put it together before we mix it and you were telling me we look at the, the life stages of the animals to make special, special feed, feed for, them. for them as well yeah yes. so the components are weighed we have mm -hmm. percentages and all of yes, that yes everything for me i saw farming in africa on facebook and i have been their number one customer I follow them on all the other uh, handles so please everybody yeah. to follow them on youtube facebook yeah. all the other handles and i'm sure they will enjoy yeah <laughs> if you are watching and you think you can just go and mix soya bean and <laughs> corn and everything yeah. listen there is yeah. knowledge to everything we do yes. here so do reach out and let's educate you more on that okay you need to get it right for your precious animals yes. right okay i think for the third and then also uh -huh. this is also used for weighing the goods so we have oh. a weighing scale that we do okay. the weighing every week um so we use the same thing for weighing the animals as well beautiful yeah. let me also say that everything we are talking about here thankfully we can supply the same thing to you because hey you've heard of fear agro ventures yes i've told the farming in africa is a one-stop place for every farm out anyway the third machine would have yeah. to take us out of oh, here yeah. so please lead the way and okay. let me follow you thank you okay come on your godfrey yes i can see that commercial farms is not lacking feed at all <laughs> yes we are, <laughs> we are, we've started our rainy season look at the grass yes so if I want to level this down, yes. what machine do I use? Because I, I don't want to hear cut last mm -hmm. Godfrey. Yes, so um, you could see the level it has grown to. Yeah. So this is a level that you can harvest this for your hay. Um, or if you want to cast, you cut this and then give it to them. You can use the brush cutter as well. Wait, you can harvest. use what? Brush cutter. Brush cutter yes. or? Um, or you can use the mower. We have another mower that, that is also used. The hand mower the you, hand push mower you push along. push and then. It can also, you can use that to harvest. Talking of the brush cutter, yeah. if I want to harvest this, mm -hmm. dry it and build it into yeah. hay, can I still use the same brush cutter? Yeah, you can still use that. Or if you want oh. to feed it to them fresh like this, you can use it to cut oh, it. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. What if where I am is just grown? So like, mm -hmm. let's take this part, for example, yeah. and I just want to level it down. Yes. Can I still use the brush cutter or yes. the mower? The brush cutter works if the field is not like a bush area, yes. grasses like this, it will work for you. It will work perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? 
Actually, let me chip this scene. So recently, I was having this interesting conversation with a gentleman yeah. who had visited his hometown and was telling me how the youth there don't want to go into Agri. Oh. You know, he made certain valid points. Then I felt that actually, mm -hmm. if we are to incorporate technology into yeah. agriculture, the youth would go into yes, it. Yes, true, very true. Honestly, if I have one acre, two acres, yes. why would I want to use cutlass to, to come and remove my shoulder <laughs> eventually? <laughs> It's not because we are lazy. Honestly, yes. I think I would just want to put this out there. If technology has come to make things easier, can we form even cooperatives in our various mm -hmm. places, yes. various villages, various communities, rent or hire all yeah. of these machinery to do the job for us? Yeah. If you are able to actually take this initiative up, I feel like more of the youth would go into no, it yeah. because honestly... It makes it work more easier. It makes it easier. Yeah. But you see, our mothers and fathers still expect us to go pick the cutlass. <laughs> By the time you finish, yeah. you people, it's okay. I don't, want to, <laughs> I don't want to get emotional. Now, the third uh, equipment you've yeah. talked about is the hand mower or the brush cutter, yes. which you've made us see its importance. Yeah. And I feel like that's about cut last any time, any yeah, day, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. The fourth equipment we are going to finish this video on would be about the seed planter. Yeah. And I want us to go practically to the pasture where we used one yeah. for you to see. So follow yes. us into the pasture, okay, thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, permit us to end our video in this paddock for today. Do you see the rows, the columns, the lines? Talk about this for me, yeah. yes. So these grass that you see, um, mm -hmm. they were all planted with the seeds. So yeah, they were planted with the seeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Planting with the seeds also sometimes is difficult because you need wow. to put in very um, small um, um, quantities of the seed yeah. into a hole. And doing, you, need also, you also need more people to do that. Yeah, you need more people to yes. do that, yes. But with this, we use the hand push um, planter, seed planter. seed planter to actually plant it. You just put the seed in it, roll it um, mm -hmm. in the lines like this, and then start planting. So this seed planter, um, I, hear, I hear it has calibrations, yes. which allow you to determine the number the of seeds, seeds that should come in. It even the depth out. it should dig. Yes, yes, yes. It does all that it does for all you. That, yeah. So you just push it. All it needs is the soil to be um, a bit wet. Then you can use that to plant. Does it use fuel or something? No, it doesn't use fuel. It doesn't use gas. It doesn't Beautiful. use anything. Just pushing it and then it starts planting. That's all? Yes. What a way to inspire your young ones at home to even go into farming or agriculture. It doesn't need fuel or anything. No. It's like they are playing, eh? No matter the <laughs> land size, you just calibrate the thing yeah. well and just start moving on the land. It will do everything for you. Once again, if technology has come to make agriculture easier, why don't we take advantage of it mm -hmm. to encourage more people yes. into it? Please stop telling us the youth is lazy because we don't want to go into agriculture. Actually, we love to go into it by using technology, which would make things easier for us. Deal? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, so to give you a quick recap of today's video, on the four practical equipment we use here at Cementia Farms, and we've shown you their uses as well. Number one was the pellet machine, yeah. which pelletizes our feed for our animals. Number two, the chaff cutter, which chops up our for fresh forage and the hay, also for the animals to prevent wastage of feed. Number three, we talked about the brush cutter or the hand mower. You need that to level down when your bushes and grasses are overgrowing. And the last one, to have efficient planting, no wastage of your seeds, you need the seed planter. My name is Nadia and today this video actually was to encourage and inspire all of you youth out there watching into agriculture because guess what? Technology is making things easier. So hey, you can ditch the cutlass and actually take advantage of any of these equipments we have mentioned and go into it. Go clear your land. I did this video also with farm manager Godfrey as always. He's been very helpful in giving us the education we got. So till we come your way again, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to Farming in Africa YouTube channel and on all other social media platforms. It is what? Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much. <laughs>